What's going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. Today we have eight items that I sold on eBay yesterday, so we have to get all those pulled, packed, and shipped out. Then I'm going to head back to Goodwill because I went and bought another mystery pallet yesterday. If you guys don't know, my Goodwills here in South Carolina have been selling large pallets of unsorted inventory that are totally sealed. You cannot open them up until you buy it. So it's kind of a, a shot in the dark, kind of a gamble, I guess. But at only $40 a box, I have yet to lose money on one of these boxes. They've been super fun. I've really enjoyed it. You guys seem to have enjoyed it. So again, bought another box yesterday. To date, we're going to get that home, go through it, and see if we can find some valuable items. All right, you guys, so the first item we have going out today is this pair of Merrill's, Merrill, Merrill women's hiking shoes. These are the Merrill Siren Edge Q2, and these sold for $29 free shipping. I did accept a best offer on these. They were originally listed for $34 free shipping. I uh, got an offer yesterday of $29 free shipping and just accepted it. These are probably small enough to maybe fit in a padded flat rate envelope, so this should cost about $8.50 or so to ship out. Next item up is a phone case that I pulled out of a pallet last week, one of the Goodwill mystery pallets. This is a Pelican, brand new in the box, uh, phone case for iPhone 6, 6S, 7, or 8. Uh, so pretty modern phone case there, and this sold for $20 free shipping. It'll probably cost about $3.50 to ship out. Next item is another palette item. This is some Win hair conditioner. I got this on the palette last week, one of the last palettes I did, so probably have pennies into this. And this, even though it's open and only 95% full, like I said in my listing, it's still sold for $20 free shipping. It'll probably cost about five or six bucks to ship that out. Next up is a camera bag, a Solidex camera bag. I found this at the bins about a month ago. It's a nice leather camera bag. I'd never heard of Solidex, but Sol Comps at the time said they were selling for about $25 to $30 plus shipping. So that's what I listed it as. And then this weekend I got an offer of uh, like 15 bucks free ship or plus shipping. I countered at 20 plus shipping. The buyer countered at 16 plus shipping. And I thought, you know, this thing's a really particular item. It's already been listed for about a month or so. Um, I don't think I'm going to get that much more money for it eventually. So I just went ahead and accepted that offer of $16 Plus shipping, again, I got it at the bins, so I probably paid about two bucks for it. Next up is Minecraft for Xbox 360. I picked this up la this week, earlier this week at Salvation Army. I paid a dollar and 99 cents for this. I showed this to you guys in my last live stream earlier this week, and this sold for $26 free shipping, and it was only listed for about 24 hours. I think it was my friend Art Vandalay on YouTube who told me this game would sell for about 26 to $28 very quickly, and he was right on the money. So Art, I really appreciate that. Next up is a Titleist visor. I've had this listed for a while, maybe four or five months. Took a while to sell. Uh, not in brand new, but in very, very good condition. It's got the little Foot Joy logo on the side as well. I paid a dollar for this at Goodwill, again, about five, six months ago. And this sold for $14 plus shipping. Another video game sale here. We're looking for Bugs Bunny. Uh, that's Scooby-Doo. It's for PlayStation... Probably where to go? I know it's in here some. Oh, here it is. Yeah, Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters. I got this in my video game lot that I bought a couple months ago. I probably have pennies into this, and it sold for twenty-eight dollars plus shipping. And the last item for today is a set of mid-century furniture legs that I actually found at the bins. Pretty sure they're wrapped up in this thing here. Uh, so that's what they look like. I found an ottoman at the bins. Maybe six or eight months ago, it's been a while, and the ottoman was totally trash, like ripped up, just disgusting, but it had these nice mid-century legs on it. So I just unscrewed the legs from the ottoman and bought the legs at the bin. So I probably paid maybe two or three dollars total. I, granted, I thought these were gonna sell for a lot more. When I made a video about these, I said they were gonna sell for about 45 to 50 dollars plus shipping, and I, I was wrong, I guess. They sat for a while, and I finally got an offer this weekend of $30 free shipping, and I went ahead and accepted it. Again, I only paid $3 or so for all of them, uh, and it's 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 a, it's a piece that, you know, there's a very limited market of people who are refurbishing furniture or replacing legs. So happy to help out with a furniture project, hopefully, and also making a little bit of money. All right, so I just went inside Goodwill and grabbed the pallet that I'm unloading today, and while I was in there, I went ahead and bought 
four more pallets. I posted an ad on Facebook Marketplace yesterday asking if somebody was available to help me move four pallets of inventory about 10 miles or so. Uh, and I had a bunch of people message me at, at, about it. So I ended up finding a guy to do it for a hundred bucks. So he's gonna meet me here at this Goodwill today at one o'clock and we're gonna pick up the other four pallets and take it to my house. But right now, we're just gonna do this one. However, something else is very interesting is that the regional manager of the Goodwills in this region, I guess, was inside today. She saw me buying one of these pallets and she notified me that this weekend, this coming Saturday and Sunday, everything in this Goodwill store here will be 50% off, including the pallets. So all the pallets are gonna be only $25 each. When she said that, I got super excited because obviously these are worth 40, 50 bucks that we pay now, but being 25 bucks each, I mean, that's just a crazy deal. And I, I was worried because I just bought, they have nine in there and I just bought five of them total. So I'm like, are there gonna be any left this weekend? And she said, they're gonna put out about 30 more Saturday morning. So I really think the next couple months of my YouTube channel is just going to be trying to figure out how to do these Goodwill mystery boxes because they're fun, they're profitable, you guys are enjoying the videos, and I, I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. All right, so here's the palette we're getting today. My GoPro is on like 3%, so I'm probably not going to show, I mean, we'll open it and so you can see what's on top here, but uh, my GoPro might die before I can unload everything, but once I get back to the house, I'll change out my batteries and pull everything off the truck so you guys can see everything in this pallet. All right, so the reason I bought this pallet was because I saw all this yarn on top and some of this yarn can do pretty good. Bear gnat, baby yarn or something. I don't know anything about it, but I made a friend on Instagram who's like a yarn pro. I'll probably just send her pictures of all this yarn and see what it's worth. The other reason I bought this pallet was because of this bear. This is a uh, where'd it go? Rakes. Rakes bears. Bear. Apparently these are really collectible. It's got like a wooden face. I'm not sure about this exact model, but I think it was definitely one of the best things. I so my GoPro died as I was talking about that bear, but just this will just give you an idea of what's on the top here. It's like a pretty good pot. A pressure cooker. If we got the lid for that. That'll be pretty good. So like I said, we'll get all this unloaded and put on the truck. And then once I get home, I'll give you guys a better look at what all is inside this whole box. All right, just want to give you guys an update. We're about halfway through with the box, I guess. There's been a lot of like lotions and creams and stuff in this palette. Um, we had a collection of plates. There's a little Sony remote right there. That looks pretty good. Sorry, I'm filming with my phone. I'm not used to the depth of field here. Um, a lot of good stuff in here. A lot of good yard sale stuff, some really good eBay stuff. That's what we've unloaded so far. Just a ton of stuff for 40 bucks. So I'm home now, I'm here with my, my Manderson Anderson and we are going to unload the truck here. I put a little tarp on the load because you guys were saying that I should have done that the first time. So I listen, I listen to criticism and I respond and better myself. However, the one thing I missed today was that I don't have any boxes really to put the stuff in. These, this is all the boxes that, that I have. So. We're gonna have to make do with some trash bags or something just to get all this stuff out and organized and we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and pull the top tarp off and see what we got going on. All right, that's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna try to, I don't know if I should pull the tailgate down or not. I feel like everything might fall out. Probably shouldn't have put those glass cups <laughs> on the top. All right, nothing's broken yet. So I can't find my, uh, my head strap for my GoPro. I guess I could go to Best Buy and buy another one. Probably should, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave the camera mounted up there as we go through this stuff. And if I find anything cool, I'll just, I'll just stick it up there and show it to you. Let's see if I'm trying not to break it. What did you find? You said Raptastic? Raptastic. Brand new sealed, whatever that is. Mother's Day 1987. Mother's Day 1987. Oh, the plates. I remember I unboxed those, but I didn't know what they were. There was a bunch of those like cardboard boxes that looked like that back there. So I'm going to keep all those in a set. Um, I, what is it? These are the Bradford Exchange plates. This one is Mother's Day. Um, Mother's Day 1987. I don't know. I, I've never seen these before. Don't know anything about them, but we have what looks to be about 10 of them, maybe. So I'll probably just keep them all in a bundle. There's a bunch of like lotions and creams and stuff in this one. So let's make a pile just of that. 
like what maybe back there. Anytime I see a tube or something like that, just go ahead and put it in the How you doing? Didn't you come to the yard sale the other day? Yeah, Alright, I just got more stuff, so I'm probably gonna do another one tomorrow morning. So and a lot of it's gonna be free. So if you wanna call your friend and, and be here early, you can get a lot of good stuff. Yes ma'am. That was a lady that lives in my neighborhood. She came to the yard sale last weekend and uh, she and her friend got a ton of stuff. Um, they got a bunch of the free stuff that I put out. So I saw her walking by, I was like, ah, perfect opportunity. So I'm sure she and her friend will, will come tomorrow morning. We're, I'm doing a yard sale tomorrow morning, which is Friday, because I don't know if Haley wants to get involved with it on Saturday and wake up early again. So I'm just trying to maybe do like a two day thing, maybe just a Friday thing. I don't know, depends on how much sells. Also gonna start a pile by the road of just free stuff that I don't want to put in the yard sale. Like this lot had a bunch of picture frames. Like I probably have 50 picture yeah, frames in here. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna put those beside the road for free because I don't really want to mess with taking them out for the yard sale. All right, so we got some blonde, sexy hair, shampoo. This is about half full. Put that in the lotion pile. This is a Ice Age, Ice Age Continental Drift Ma McDonald's, ha McDonald's toy, new in the package. Those might be worth something. I'm gonna stick that in a box. This, this is uh, some Bath and Body Works lotion and stuff. Like I said, there's a ton of lotion. Victoria's Secret Love Spell. Unwrapped. If some of this stuff is discontinued, Twisted Peppermint, Bath and Body Works. If some of this stuff is discontinued, it could be worth a good bit of money. So I'm gonna, like I said, we just have a whole pile of lotions that I'm gonna scan after we get everything unloaded. But I think some of these could be worth some serious money. Some more lotions, Medline Remedy, skincare or something. Cool. There's another one. This is a uh, Ozark Trail. Yeah. Ooh. Urban Therapy Twisted Sister. Twisted Sister. Twisted Isn't that a band? I don't know. It's got a $5.99 price tag on from TJ Maxx. Put it in the lotion pile. Oh, so that, yeah, lotion pile. Who's that kid? You know that kid? No, I didn't know that kid. You're supposed to know all the neighborhood kids. One time that kid came to my house and was playing basketball in my driveway and I wasn't even out there. He just like started shooting the ball in my driveway. My ball in my court. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh well, seems like he's enjoying himself. So I'm about to get knocked out. A training dog collar, a shock collar for a dog. Moe's! I'm just kidding, I would never use this on Moe's. Your dog's name is Moe's? Yeah, it's from the office. Oh, okay, yeah, I understand. Oh yeah, more lotion and soap, hand sanitizer. That's the most valuable thing in here. Some more Chi, Chi Keratin Styling Cream. I'm pretty sure Chi is a good brand. And then we found this remote, Sony RMT814. I don't know what that's worth. Let's look that up. All right, so this Sony remote is worth like 10 bucks or so. Thought it was gonna be worth more, but still, to no corrosion in there. Should work like a charm. I'm gonna throw that in the eBay box. Yeah. Got some Dreft newborn laundry detergent. I feel like this could be valuable. Here's a two pack for $32. There's one for $15. Yeah. Oh, we working in the kitchen now. This is like half full though, so I might yard sell this for like five bucks. Just because I don't think it's worth putting on eBay. There's some more skin stuff. Remedy Medline. I think I've got like 15 of those. Someone just donated the whole thing. They said we're cleaning up. That's cool. Gamecock little napkin holder. I would easily sell it at the yard sale for a couple bucks. What's this? This is a coffee bean grinder. Yard sale? Yeah. Mainstays sink rack, brand new in the package, yard sale. It's a nice little Mizuno glove. It's definitely a youth, like a kid size, and it's a left-handed thrower. That might be worth throwing up on eBay. Pack the pins. Are there cookies in here? Pins, Sharpies, yard sale. Oh no, it's just cotton balls. This cute little tree would sell at the yard sale. Gentle. Gentle Anderson. Anderson. 
This is just an empty case, but I'm gonna keep this because I have some loose video games that I can put in here when they sell. Ralph Lauren mug? That might be worth something. Ralph Lauren mug? Yeah. Okay. Ralph Lauren. Same one. Oh, there's two of them? Yeah. Pair? Yeah. You could probably put those up on eBay. Little Ralph Lauren monogrammed mug. RLL. Or mug. What is it? Tumblr? Is that what they're called? You might throw those, those up on eBay. Stick this up there in the free pile. Good catch. Oh gosh, this is a bunch of cups. These are actually pretty cool though, and somebody took the time to like wrap all these. Nice little Budweiser glass. I might just. What is this? Make sure it's not a turvis. Not a turvis. Coke glasses, some of these Ooh. bottles. Uh, nice little Carolina. I think this box is some pretty quality mugs, I think. So I'm probably gonna stick these stick these at the yard sale. I think there might be a whole set of these oh, mugs. I got another Budweiser. Oh, that's a nice that, one. That one's got Christmas on it. Clydesdale. 1989. You probably can't see that. 1989 Budweiser Stein Miller with the Clydesdale. Light taste activator glass. Yard sale that. Cheese knives. Little any punch bowl or something. Yard sale. Any cheese knife? Cheese knife. Just throw it over there. That's fine. Another glass piece. Glass. Shove it in this box over here. Maybe somebody will give me five bucks for every piece of glass. Oh, this is a Shark portable steam cleaner. Uh, I don't know if it works. It's got some pretty, pretty bad corrosion up there. Probably, I don't know what we're gonna do with this. I don't think it's, yeah. <laughs> oh, this looks nice. This is a Braun Vario 280 watt hand mixer. I think I've I sold one of these before. It wasn't a Braun. But I think I got like 15 bucks for that one, so I think this one's gonna be. Oh, and this has multiple attachments, I think. Like a whisker. I think all of this is for the bra. Oh, I just have a whole thing of glass over here. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in the eBay pile for sure. More glasses, football cups, a set of four football cups. I don't know what these are wall wall decor pieces maybe we got a three set of the flower pieces. not sure yard sale what is this charger to Medela charger anytime i find a charger like this just loose i'll stick it to the side if it doesn't have something in the pallet that it charges you can always sell these on ebay what is this these look like baby bottles people really don't like their glass Pretty sure these are baby bottles with nipples. Yard sale. We're getting in some more of these plates now that I showed you guys earlier. These are the, uh, I can get into them. Take this one out. So this is Labrador Retrievers. They're really pretty. Again, these are Edwin M. Knowles, 1988. The plates are numbered. These things might be worth a good bit of money. I don't know. I've got to look them up on eBay. But I've, like I said, I've got maybe 10, 10 to 15 of them. Might be the best thing in the palette. Little rival hand mixer. Looks like it's brand new in the box. Brand new sealed, easy yard sale item. More plates. And more freaking picture frames, man. Golly. So I guess we're just gonna have a plate, glass, and picture frame set. Run those up there. Laura Geller, face, eye, cheeks. Oh, this is probably like a makeup palette thing. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. It's all like dusty. I don't think I it's. Think, I think that is. It might be. All right, we'll yard sale it. Look it up. Yeah. All right, wallet. Anything in it? No, absolutely stupid. Still in good condition. Yard set. I don't oh. know where this one's from. That's that one's that's nasty. 
is this? Oh no, utility heater. Coffee pot. Oh my gosh, that's gross. Yeah. I'll gross. put that in the free. Wait. Another one? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's nine plates so far. Oh, there's a weight. Five pound uh -oh. plate weight. Oh, more McDonald's toys. I might throw that up on eBay. It's like almost brand new. Makeup palette? From Ulta. Ulta Beauty. Melissa Michelle. Bling on the glam. Eyeshadow palette. Is this broken fishing rod yours? No, that was in the palette. That's garbage. Oh. I thought this was interesting. It looks... I don't know. It just looks like something... It looks straight out of the 2000s. Yeah. Louis Galoob. Louis Galoob Toys, 1984. Interesting. I might put that put that to the side. Some kind of NASCAR kit. Oh yeah, I saw that. Let me see it. I'll try to keep everything together because I think I can sell it as and is. So it looks like a um, 80, 31 hat. And then you get this little lanyard. So it's like a, it looks like a little like fan fan bag or something from the official souvenir program championship weekend. I mean, you got some little little cars in there. If this stuff was only given out at that race, it might be worth some money. Number 31? I don't know who number 31 is. There's also some little cars in there. What do we got? It's like an 80 or something. 08 Homestead Miami Speedway. I don't know. This is cool. This, I'm definitely going to put this off to the side and look it up. Oh, these are... Uh, I think these are... Filter wrenches, oil filter, uh, magnum, magnum oil filter wrenches. Looks like there's two or, looks like there's two or three of them in there. Those might be pretty good for eBay. Wait, that's a goose. He just said the cat says meow, but it landed on the goose. Are you sure? Are you sure you know your animals? See those goose. This is one of those like take up holders. Might be what it is. I'm pretty sure that is what it is. I don't know. Cake cup. Yeah, little cake cup holder. Chef mate's little chopper. A little electric chopper. That'll do good at the yard sale. Alright, so all this was in my front cab. This is the, the yarn. Here's the lid to one of the pots. I think this one. Yeah. So that one has a lid. I think I have. I think that one's good to go. I don't know. I know I have some valves in the front too. So I don't know if it's missing a valve. It looks like that. But Presto pressure cookers can go for $50 to $100 or so depending on the size. I need to look up all this yarn. All this is yarn. Oh, and here's that teddy bear. The rake spares with the wooden face uh, and wooden heels. This is, uh, I don't know. I need to look it up. All right, guys, so we just finished unloading that pallet. It was mostly yard sale stuff. I mean, we just got, I mean, you can almost have a yard sale out of one of these pallets, you know, just a ton, a ton of stuff that's just, you know, mediocre, not worth putting on eBay, but, you know, worth two, three, four, five bucks at a yard sale. Um, did have a little bit of stuff we put by the road for free, just for somebody to come and grab. I'll probably post up on Facebook about that, uh, and I'm sure all that will be gone within a couple hours or so. Uh, we got this whole thing, a glassware here. I'm probably just going to put it at the yard sale. Maybe like a buck a piece or something, unless you guys saw something that you think I should take my time on. Uh, this is also going to go to the yard sale, just some mugs and stuff like that. Here's some more lotion. I told you we had a ton of lotion and cream and just, you know, some products like that. We got some hand sanitizer. We got some uh, All About Curls Boosting Foam, some Urban Therapy Twisted Sista. I mean, all this stuff is worth money for sure. I mean, I would I would not be surprised if there was over $100 in this box right here. Um, especially some of this, like, Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Work stuff is uh, discontinued. So I'm going to take some time today to look up some of that. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, and then we have the plates that I told you about. We I think we end up having nine plates all together. Again, these are um, Edwin, Edwin Knowles. Uh, fine china from fine china from the Bradford exchange all the plates are in good great condition um, None of them are broken or anything like that. So I need to do some more research on those See what they're going for and then this is the eBay slash I need to look up pile. We got two pressure cookers the bear um, 
those oil filter wrenches, this NASCAR gift set, all the yarn, which could do very, very well. The hand mixer from Braun. Uh, let's make sure. Oh, that doll that I said I was going to look up. The Sony remote, McDonald's toy, the five pound plates, and the Mizuno glove. Pretty good finds for $40. Again, all this. Everything, everything you're seeing in the whole video, 40 bucks, man, you just can't beat it. So we're gonna, um, I, I don't have any boxes, so I'm gonna fold the tarp over this stuff like a taco and just leave it here for a second. I need to go grab some boxes and get all this stuff boxed up for the yard sale tomorrow um, and hopefully just get rid of it, man. Even like, even if we sell everything for a dollar a piece, I mean, this is like a hundred items. You know, it's a hundred bucks, bam. And, and whatever doesn't sell, we can just throw beside the road for free, so. Just need to get this stuff done. Need to get this stuff listed. All right, so here's all the yarn I got. I don't really know what I'm looking at. The only complete one I think is this Burnaps baby one. This one feels cool. Um, again, I don't know what I'm looking at. I can probably sell all of this as a big lot to somebody. Um, again, just because I'm completely ignorant when it comes to yarn. Going through all these lotions and creams, one of them exploded all over the place. So I gotta clean it up, but. I looked up sold comps on these. This file right here is what's gonna be going on eBay. Uh, this file is gonna go just to the yard sale. It's not really worth much. Or like this uh, this blonde sexy hair was worth like 30 bucks full, but this is maybe only about 30% full. So I'm just gonna yard sell that for three or four bucks. Got a thing of hand sanitizer that I'm just gonna keep for me personally. And again, all this stuff is going on eBay. All of these remedy lotions are worth a good bit. This, um, these antifungal creams are worth about $12 a piece plus shipping. These are worth about $10 each free shipping. These are worth about $10 each free shipping. And these are worth about $15 each free shipping. So just, oh, and uh, the, the, the Victoria's Secret Love Spell is worth about 15 plus shipping. The Twisted Peppermint from Bath and Body Works is worth about 10 plus shipping. And this Twisted Sista Clear and Nourish Shampoo is worth about $10 free shipping. So, you know, nothing crazy or discontinued worth, you know, $50 or $100. But like I said, throughout everything we're selling from the palette, just in the lotions, we're going to be looking at over $100 in, in profit for sure. So definitely the lotions was a huge pull from today's palette. I lied. I have more yarn. There's this big bundle here. This, this yarn in this bag seems to be nicer than the first lot I showed you guys. Um, homespun. Some cool purple ones, some needles. Lion brand yarn, Ch Chanel or something, I don't know. Uh, but there's more, so we have all this and then this whole bag over here. So a good bit of yarn. I, like I said, I'm sure I could lot all of the yarn up for one buyer and you know probably get at least enough money you know maybe 30 40 bucks if i can get 40 bucks for everything that would pay for the whole palette you know so yarn is definitely something to be on the lookout for so i want to give you guys a quick update so i posted all that stuff for free on facebook nobody's come yet but i've had a few people message me saying that they are coming uh and what i did was i posted another post to facebook marketplace with all of this stuff i just took a picture i like pulled the tarp back and took a picture of everything and just said hey yard sale items for sale everything in here is most things are like a dollar or less there's some really good stuff in here because you guys saw we we put some really good stuff in there so i'm hoping that what happens is people come for the free stuff and then when they get here i'm like hey take a look at this stuff over here that thing's a dollar that thing's two dollars buy both for two dollars you know whatever uh because i don't really want to do like a full out yard sale this weekend you know so i'm hoping maybe between today and tomorrow i can get most of this stuff cleared out maybe make you know even if everything in here sells for a dollar we're looking at like an easy hundred bucks you know um so that's that's the plan here also i went back to goodwill today and bought four more pallets and i know you're thinking josh how are you going to manage all these pallets how did you move them how did you do this you can see they're already here in my driveway what i did was i put a post on facebook marketplace and i said i'm looking for somebody to move four pallets from one location to another location it's about 10 miles away You'd need a box truck with a lift gate and a pallet jack. And surprisingly, within like 30 minutes or so, I had probably 10 people message me. Uh, look, there's somebody here for some free stuff. Probably had 10 people message me um, offering me uh, offering to do the job. So now I have all this to go through. Hopefully, we can get all this stuff moved out today. This is very, very cheap. That one, that's free. You can take whatever you want. Here, mostly maybe one, two dollars. Yeah, I got plenty of money to sell it, so 
Um, like I was saying, if you ever have like a good deal that you come across and you, you know, don't have a truck, you don't have a way to move it, post on Facebook Marketplace. I found that there is a ton of people that are like, I guess, independent contractors that own trucks and just move freight for people. And a lot of times, you know, it's it's a 10 mile trip. It took the, the guy met me at Goodwill, loaded up the four pallets, drove me over here, unloaded them and left in less than an hour. And he made a hundred bucks and probably used five bucks in gas, you know? So the, the independent contractor guys with trucks would love to do jobs like this. So if you ever find a deal that you don't want to pull the trigger on because you don't have the, the means to get it home, post on Facebook Marketplace. I'm sure you can find somebody to do it for pretty cheap. Shout out to that guy who just took everything in the free pile, all those picture frames, all that junk, took it out of my life. And now I don't have to deal with it. So now I'm probably not going to uh, like delete that Facebook ad for the free stuff. I'll just, when people get here, I'll be like, oh, sorry, it's gone. But look what I have available for you. Another update, the guy just came back and he asked me if I would take $50 for everything at, under the tarp. And so I pulled the tarp back and I was looking, I was like, ah, man, 50 bucks. Cause in my head, I'm like, that's an automatic $10 profit. And I still have all that lotion, all the stuff we pulled off the pallet. I mean, it, it would be great. And I wouldn't have to worry about anything. He took all the free stuff already. And I was like, ah, 50 bucks for all this. I mean, some of this, some's junk you know like the cabbage patch kid with the butt hanging out you know whatever but some of the stuff is is worth a good bit of money you know at a yard sale um so i told him i could do 75 for everything and he said he would call his guy and let me know so i don't know i feel like that's a pretty good deal and i feel like Haley would be super happy if she came home today and didn't see a bunch of stuff in the yard that has some pretty serious monetary value all on its own. <laughs> all right, you guys, so it is the next day. It's, I don't know, like eight o'clock in the morning or something like that. I'm having a little Friday morning yard sale today. Obviously it's not as much, uh, not, not as many items as we had last weekend, because this is mainly just stuff that was either on yesterday's pallet or stuff that I had left over from the yard sale. Um, so I've got the plates out here. A lady just messaged me on Facebook and asked if these were still available. So she may be coming to get those. My neighbor came and picked some stuff out of the, <clears throat> the free pile and she ended up paying me 10 bucks for it. Um, so I already made $10 from her and then one other person has come so far and bought one thing for a dollar. So, so far made $11. Uh, I'm thinking more and more about that guy that came yesterday and wanted everything for 50 bucks And I feel like I probably should have just took the deal and ran Because uh, then I wouldn't have to done this yard sale, but you live and you learn, you know I'm not looking to make a ton of money on this stuff. I just I'd like it to go to somebody that could use it I guess you know if I can make 40 50 bucks off all this stuff total uh, That would be good with me. So I'm not wasting time even though there's nobody here I'm still listing some stuff. I've already listed like five golf golf clubs this morning. So making the best of my time. I'm probably gonna hang out here until about 10, and then I'm gonna go run a couple errands, but we'll see how the yard sale goes. All right, so there's one lady that's been digging through the free pile for like an hour or so. I think she's gonna take a good bit of that. And then another nice couple just pulled up and they're asking about seeing the regular stuff. I've already packed up a lot of the stuff because I'm about to leave and I put it, most of the good stuff back on this table. So we'll see if we can finally make some sales here. All right, so update for you guys. I took a break. I went and did some errands, went to a couple thrift stores. I don't have any footage from that. I was just kind of leisurely shopping. But when I came home, all the free stuff was gone out of the front yard except the tarp. I was hoping nobody was going to take the tarp, and they didn't. They just took all the stuff off of it. So that was awesome. But I, the unfortunate thing is that I didn't really sell anything. I think I made like 10 bucks this morning at the yard sale. Uh, and then, like I said, that my, one of my neighbor ladies came over and paid like 10 bucks for some stuff last night. So hindsight, I should have taken that guy's offer yesterday of $50 for everything. That way he would have taken everything. I wouldn't have had to done the yard sale this morning. Um, and I wish I would have got his number because apparently he <laughs> likes a bunch of stuff. But that's the thing about reselling. You know, you just you never really know everything. You just keep doing new things and try to learn from your mistakes and try to get better every single day. So for the rest of the day, I'm going to be listing some of this stuff from the pallet that we pulled out yesterday and then some point this weekend Haley and I are going to tackle these four pallets that we have sitting 
in our driveway. Hopefully there's some good stuff in here. This black one, the Goodwill cashier specifically told me to make sure I get this one. So I'm really excited to get into that one, see what's in there. But obviously there's a ton of fresh content coming to the channel. These pallets are just the lifeblood of my YouTube channel right now. So if you guys are enjoying these, if you want more, be sure to smash the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. You are the absolute best. I love you so much and I'll see you guys on the next one.